The Voice of West Texas brings you Minor League Baseball. Midland Rockhounds Baseball is coming up next. <clears throat> Alrighty fans, welcome to Minor League Baseball, the show. Today is our third game of this three-game series set between the visiting Corpus Christi Hooks and your West Texas Rockhounds. Well, today, it's an exciting day for baseball, and most likely, guys, we are so glad you're here. We are fixing to get ready for the starting lineups for the visitors and our home team. So, sit back, relax, and we are going to give you the best baseball show for today. Go online on MinorLeagueBaseballTheShow.com. Purchase and print your tickets from home. Also, follow the Rockhounds all season long with the first pitch app from Minor League Baseball. You can download that on any smartphone. Well, get out your scorecards and we'll get today's starting lineups. First for the visiting Corpus Christi Hooks. Leading off and playing right field is Casey Crozier. Crozier at right. Batting second is the left fielder, A. De Los Santos. Los Santos for left. Batting third for the Corpus Christi lineup is first baseman Tyler White. White at first. Batting fourth for the hook lineup is shortstop Ellis Kian. Kian at short. Batting fifth for Corpus Christi is designated hitter AJ Reed. Reed, the DH. Catching duties, batting six for Corpus Christi is Edgar Gonzalez. Gonzalez at catching. Batting seventh is second baseman Sergio Valdez. Valdez is second. Kenny Kaufman will be batting eighth for Corpus Christi. He will be at third base. Batting ninth for Corpus Christi is right center fielder. Andrew Douglas and for the Corpus Christi Hooks this evening is Willie Perez Perez today's Corpus Christi Hooks pitcher and now let's get ready for the Midland Rockhounds starting lineup batting first in shortstop is Eric Cordero Cordero yeah short Batting second for Midland is center fielder Manny Moreno. Moreno as center. Batting third for Midland is first baseman Victor Valles. Valles at first. Fourth is the right fielder Wilson Goodwin will bat for the Rockhounds. Batting fifth is the third baseman Ross Byers. Byers at third base. Batting six is designated hitter Richie Denson. Denson, the DH. Batting seventh for the Rockhound order is the catcher Robert Rodriguez. Rodriguez has the catching duties for the Rockhounds. Batting eighth for Midland is left fielder Mitchell Buckley. Buckley at left. Batting ninth is rounding out the batting order for the Rockhounds second baseman Brooks Christian. Christian at second. And on the mound for the West Texas Midland Rockhounds this evening is Gerardo Rikon. Rikon, today's Rockhounds pitcher. And now let's get you ready for this three game matchup between the Corpus Christi Hooks and the Midland Rockhounds. 
So turning it over to our favorite guy, Matt Vazgersian. Under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of baseball on MLB Network. Ought to be a good one here between the Corpus Christi Hooks and the Midland Rockhounds. Live baseball here on MLB Network and it comes your way next. Geraldo Rincon, the Dominican left-hander, will get the nod to start here. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey. You don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three. But if you can master five like he has, he'll be in pretty good shape. Now at the play, Casey Crozier. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And we are underway here this evening as the first pitch misses for ball one. The one and no delivery softly hit out towards short and one gone time now to give you a look at the batting order for the visiting squad what do we need to know about these guys for this evening's matchup on the road Dero? well Matty, you take a look at this lineup filled with young bloods just young guys hungry aggressive trying to do damage and move traffic to both gaps line to line power up and down this lineup should be interesting to see if this pitcher uses their aggressiveness against them standing in Alfonso de los Santos as he'll get his first opportunity in this one popped up and no one will get this one a cool 47 degrees tonight at first pitch bases are empty one man out this is hit high in the air out toward left center Moreno moves over two down now batting Tyler White first chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on first delivery to him on the way and a fastball to start things out here not close it's a ball and no strikes count now a ball and a strike the one one home Takes a pitch for strike number two. Into the corner and slicing foul. Hey, I don't mind you throwing a fastball in this situation, but I think if we're being honest with ourselves, that one caught a little bit too much of the plate. Tried to hold up there, appealed down at first, and no swing. It's ball two. Here's another 2-2. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. He's just having a hard time putting this guy away. Four foul balls in this A-B. I don't think this pitcher has got something that he can get a swing and a miss on. And that finds its way through for a base hit. And he'll get in there safely. That's a pitch he'll look back on and relive tonight when he's lying in bed. A pitch away from posting a zero in the first, and he makes a big mistake, and he pays the price. So now he's got to work on leaving him out there at second base. Oh, that ball's driven into left center. This could be trouble, and trouble it is. It's down for extra bases. He pulls into second safely as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. Every manager and every pitcher in the league loves to play with an early lead, and they've got one here. Back-to-back -back doubles put them up by a run with the opportunity to stretch the lead here with another dangerous hitter set to step up. And here's the big left-handed bat of A.J. Reed. Owen won the count. Comes set with the Owen one. And a neck-high fastball that time. Rincon uses a split finger fastball as one of his weapons of choice in the arsenal. He can really be very deceptive when that pitches. This ball gets down. Let's see if they try to score. Hack on another here as the runner scores from second. 
And the last three hitters have reached base safely here. You have to wonder whether he's going to be able to settle down here before it's too late. Into the box now, Edgar Gonzalez. As he'll take a look at ball one. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Right over the middle, knee high. Reed is off of first with two away. He takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. Hey, I know it's early and we're in the first right here. But he's going to have to work that heater to both sides of the plate. He cannot get away with missing over the heart of the plate all night. The one two. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Buckley is over. And that's the third out. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. On now to the bottom of inning number one. The Hooks lead it two to nothing. Willie Perez, the right-hander out of Puerto Rico, will be the starter. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy has a four-pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard, soft. You can go in and out. And any time you have four pitches, if you can throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. So stepping in, Eric Cordero. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Eric Cordero. Here comes the first pitch. And a fastball just below the knees, ball one. off Gonzalez is over to take a look and that's gonna land foul hit down the line at first but a foul ball one and two now Ball and two strikes. Here it is. To two balls and two strikes now. Here now the 2 2 is laid off and the count runs full. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. A chance now to take a look at how the home team lines up in this one. Mark, what do you have on this group in front of the home crowd tonight? Well, Matt, this lineup finds themselves down two runs. Nothing crazy. Everyone relax. Stay within the game plan. Find a way to execute and get one run on the board and get back in this. So digging in now, Manny Moreno, he'll get to take his first cuts here. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Hard on the ground towards short. Oh, what a stop on the slide. On the first, and it's dropped. As we watch this, I'm trying to figure out what happened here. It looked like the throw was on target, and it was. He just didn't close the glove over it, and he's safely aboard as a result. Those are tough to explain sometimes.
in now. Victor Velez. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. Runners on first with one down. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Crozier moving in. He can't get to it. This one's down. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Well, that's what's so disappointing as a pitcher, d -Row. You make a really good pitch, and yet this guy's so big and so strong, he's able to muscle it into right field for a base hit. Yeah, you hand your batting gloves to the first base coach right there, and you thank your lucky stars. That's a nice A.B. Standing in now, Wilson Goodwin, as he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. Runners are at first and second with one away. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Set to deliver on nothing and two. Here it comes. To right field and deep. Look at this thing go. And that one is gone. <laughs> so it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field as they have taken the lead. It's now three to two. That ball right there was right up in the happy zone. It doesn't take much to drive one out of the ballpark when you connect on a high pitch like that. The backspin carried that one right out of here. Batting third, third baseman, Ross. Into the box, fires. Ross fires. He swings and grounds it to short. Throw on to He's first, out. two gone. Batting second. Designated hitter, Richie. Next Denson. will be the designated hitter, Richie Denson. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Softly hit out to short. And this will be taken down no problem for the final out of the inning. But the big blow of the inning comes right here a three run home run. We'll head to the top of the second. It's now a 3-2 ball game. Leading off the inning, Sergio Valdez. As they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. First pitch of the at-bat. And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. Fastball at 96 on the radar gun, and it's one and one. The 1-1. One, one. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. The 1-2. Rounded down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at 1-2. and two. When you have two strikes on you, as a hitter, if you get something that you can handle, you have to find a way to do some damage with it. That was a missed opportunity. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Count remains 2-2. Two and two. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 two -two pitch. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. All right, here's how the home side's lining up defensively. And one of the main pieces on this team today is the guy playing shortstop. A ton of range. The ability to go in the hole, set that back foot with a strong arm over the first base. And I know it's going to upset the second baseman and the third baseman. But at the end of the day, the shortstop is and always will be the captain of the infield. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Kaufman, originally from New York State, is normally at shortstop, although they've got him playing third base here today. Yeah, always one of my favorite things to do. You watch this guy today playing shortstop. 
you have time. There's rhythm. There's a timing to that position. Third base, man, step in the dive. Reactionary position. You have to come get it. Go back on it. A lot of different things. This is a fun player to watch today. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. He stays alive, still two and two. The two two one more time. And he fouls this one off. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. one more time skied in the air to straightaway left Buckley is under it and he brings it in for the second out of the inning now with the plate Andrew Douglas first pitch coming here it is line drive to left and that is in there for a two out base knock so he picks on the first pitch here and is able to extend the inning and he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Sometimes you got to pull out the ambush tactic. You don't know what the best pitch is going to be. Oh, oh, right there. Get me a knock through the left side. Hey! Fastball in there for a cold strike. And he misses with it one and one. Wow, that's 40 pitches for him already. This doesn't have the makings of a start that he's going to go very deep. And it's fouled away. Down the third baseline, but foul. Douglas stands at second with two gone. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Riding in, Robert Rodriguez. Robert Rodriguez. First offering on its way. A swing and a ground ball to third. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. The 0-1 pitch. Hit on the ground to third. Hoffman takes it in. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Into the box, Mitchell Buckley. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. The 1-0. Hit down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. Lifted the other way down the left field line, and that will end up a foul ball. Swing and a hard hit ball down the line in right. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. Hey, there's a bullet off the wall. The outfielder does a really good job of getting that one in quickly, but I think they had a play there at second base. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there, Dan. I, I, I got to believe you're busting it out of the box thinking two until somebody tells you no. I know it would have been a close play, but I think you got to err on the aggressive side right there. Stepping in now, Brooks. Christian, he swings and sends a bullet to right field, but this will hang just long enough for him to run it down in shallow right for the second out. Now batting. Oh, Digging Eric in for his second Cordero. at bat, Eric Cordero, 0 for 1 here in the early going. 
First pitch coming. Here it is. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Reined in. Throw on to first. Gets him and the side is retired. Digging in to try it again. Alfonso De Los Santos. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And now pitch on the way. Chopper foul. The wind up and the 0 1. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. And they're going to have a leadoff base runner here as the fastball's lined in the left to base hit. Hey, there's a base hit to lead off the third inning. Talk about having a lot of traffic, d -roll. He's given up several hits already, so uh, he's been in the stretch most of the game. Yeah, no doubt about that, Dan. That is the name of the game for this offense. They're trying to get this guy in the stretch. Hopefully he misses over the heart of plate like he's been doing so far up until this point. One and one the count. The 1 1 home. High and deep to center field. Moreno going back at the track. The wall. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. Two run shot to straightaway center as they take the lead 4 to 3. Yep, this is why you just can't rely on one pitch. These are the best hitters in the world. And when they know what's coming, they're going to jump all over it, just like he did there. Into the box now, Ellis Keenan. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Fouled away. No outs, nobody on. And another foul ball. Batter's going to have to find a way to regroup right there. That caught too much of the plate. He knew it. He missed it. He might not get another opportunity to put the ball in play. So he couldn't get the bat off the shoulders that time. Uh -huh. Ellis Keenan becomes the first out of the inning. It's never easy to rebound well, after serving up a two-run shot, but that at bat was a good indication to me that he isn't letting it get him. He went right after him for the strikeout. One ball, one strike to count. The 1-1. One, one. Grounded to the right. Christian comes up with it. Throw gets him. Two down. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Edgar Gonzalez. He flew out in his last at-bat. A ball and no strikes. 1-0 and oh pitch on the way. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. The 1-1 one, one home. He's in there for the second strike. If I'm the guy in the batter's box right here, I have to take a step out, adjust my batting gloves, take the pull side out of it, because that was three fastballs in a row. One two pitch is swung on and lifted in the air out to center field. Moreno is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two run home run. Bottom of the third coming up. The hooks are out in front here, four to three. Coming to the plate now, Manny Moreno, over one with a run scored thus far. Here comes the first pitch. High in the air into shallow left center. Keenan is calling for it, makes the play one away. First baseman, number eight. Striding in once Victor again, Victor Velez. Velez. He reached on a single in his first try. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Looking at a fastball for a strike on the corner. These are huge innings for a team's morale. The pitcher wants to go out and throw that shutdown inning up and get the boys back swinging the bats again with a chance to capitalize and even extend this current lead. And it's Outside one and one. Ball. One out, nobody on. Oh. 
swinging a soft liner. That's in another base hit. He's two for two. Boy, there's another base hit, and this is just kind of like that gift that just keeps on giving D Row. Both teams piling up the hits, and we're just in the third inning. Yeah, their ears were open on both sides during the pitchers' meeting today. Good plan at the plate, a lot of execution from the offensive side on both sides. Standing in now, Wilson Goodwin. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw right down the middle of the plate. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two Third aboard man, now. Number one, Ron Byron. Stepping up to the plate, Ross Byers, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. He's set. Here it comes. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. The bouncer to the left side. Fielded cleanly. There's one. The relay not in time as he beats the throw by a step. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Richie Denson, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Hit hard towards second. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Yeah, Dan, he's got to feel pretty good about that. Not only did he have a great A-B, first pitch hacking, but he smoked that ball to mix in a ribby knock. Well, he did. He must have had a pretty good time with that walking into that batter's box, and he had an idea of the pitch that he was going to get. And boy, he sure turned it loose and buggy with that one. Into the box, Robert Rodriguez. As he grounds one briskly to short, Keenan has it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. We played three full, and we are tied 4-4. Four, four. Ready for another chance? Sergio Valdez comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Strike one to start the at bat. Been a real big struggle for him so far on the mound. Four runs and only three innings, so it'll be interesting to see if he can settle in at all and make some adjustments or if this start will continue to run downhill. Goodwin moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for at number one. Into the box now, Kenny Kaufman. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. The 1 0 home is taken, strike one. Both teams with six hits so far. Tapper up the line. That winds up foul for the second strike. Fouled off. Drilled down the line. In time to first, and there are two away. Andrew stepping in. Douglas. Andrew Douglas. He singled his last time up. First pitch of the at bat. Hit in the air out to center field. Moving under it, Moreno. And that retires the side. Digging in the switch hitter, Mitchell Buckley. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. Mitchell Buckley. Here comes the first pitch. His put in play to the right side of the infield. Valdez charging this one. And the inning begins with a quick out number one. Now back. Second baseman. 
Brooks so striding in, Brooks Christian. First pitch on its way. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Douglas sprinting after it. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Eric Cordero. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Bouncer up the middle. That's through, and he's got his first base hit. He's 1 for 3. Didn't waste any time like the first pitch he saw to keep the inning going. Kind of looked like he had gotten his bearings there. Dan was going to have a 1 2 3 inning, but not the case, giving up that late two out knock. Or this lineup is so deep, one through nine, they could put a hurting on you, and they're making him work, and he's given up a lot of base hits so far in this one. So far, this has not been an easy one for this pitcher. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Digging in once again, Casey Crozier. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Popped up. And that'll get down for a base hit. And they'll throw behind the runner to first. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Well, back in the day, you would hope your leadoff man can work a walk or leg out an infield single, but not in today's game. Now they expect the leadoff hitter to have a little pop, just like this guy. Nice leadoff double. 0-1, oh here it comes. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. The 0-2 oh once more. And this ball's chopped foul of the plate, and that'll hold the count at 0-2. Oh and, and a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. Offense apparently not hard to come by tonight as you get a look at our line score through the first half of the ball game and boy the runs have been coming fast and furious so far. Ready for another shot now Tyler White already a home run and a double nope. for him in this one. Ball one. Fastball misses badly there and he's behind two and oh. Yeah, I think it's pretty clear they don't want to challenge this guy right here, but working around a guy can come back to bite you at times. 3-0 and to him now. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. <laughs> and a good comeback there. It's 3-1. and one. A lot of times you see guys in the middle of the order get worked away, but not right here. They're keeping it inside on him. Hit the short. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Ellis Keenan. One for two with a double on his line thus far. No balls in one strike. The 0-1. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. You know, it's great to be patient, make a pitcher work and all that stuff to try to get walks, but you have to be ready to hit. And that was a really hittable pitch, and now you've got to deal with an 0-2 count. Fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, Dan. No, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. And right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go Brett's bench. And here's the big left-handed bat of A.J. Reed. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1-0. -oh. It's called the strike as he pulled the butt back. Hits are even at seven apiece. A ball and two strikes now. Lifted the other way to left center. Moreno is in pursuit. He can't get there as it falls in. And the runner is in from second. And both runners are in to score now as they'll take charge here at six to four. With that base hit right there, d -Row, that's his third RBI of the game. More importantly, his team's now ahead. Yeah, these are the special ones. He's had a great approach all day. He's battled his tail off and has given his team single-handedly, almost given his team a chance to win this one. 
Nice execution right there. Ball was down oh, below the knees. He stayed Second through it and was able to drive it for a base hit. In now, Sergio Valdez standing in from the right side as he oh, takes strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Missed low and inside with it, one and one. He's certainly giving up plenty of hits in this one, but the funny thing is he hasn't walked anyone yet. That tells me he's throwing strikes, but he's just not throwing enough quality strikes. And he gets a piece there and chops it foul at home plate as the count moves to two and two now. The two two is looked at and the count moves full. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Velez moving to his left, and the inning is over. So two runs on three hits, no errors, and two men left on base. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Hooks lead it 6-4. to four. Digging in now, Victor Velez. He'll lead Wait, things no, off no, as wow. we begin the home fifth. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Hey, another leadoff knock right there. This game has been full of offense, full of traffic on the base pass. Let's see who's going to get that big double in the gap. Clear. Digging in and looking for more. Wilson Goodwin, already two for two. He'll look to add on right here. First offering on its way. And this is fouled at the plate. Here comes the 0-1. High in the air out to center field. Douglas has a play. Got it one away. Ready First once again, Ross Byers. Ross Byers. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Soft liner towards center, and that's in there. Base hit. Fortunately for him, though, no error on the bobble, and the runners will hold at first and second now. That's grown man strength right there, able to take a fastball inside and muscle it out to center field for a base hit. Stepping in now, Richie Denson. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Douglas is there. He's got it, and there are two down now. Ready now, Robert Rodriguez. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First delivery to him on the way. And this one's in the dirt. And the runners will stay put here on ball one. Here it comes, 1-0. Fly ball out toward left center field. De Los Santos on the move. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Kenny Kaufman. Here comes the first pitch. He takes a knee-high fastball. Hey, it's been a little bit of a rough outing for this guy in this one so far. And one thing you can look at if you want to get really picky, less than 60% of his first pitches have been for strikes. Cordero is up with it. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Andrew Douglas. Ready for another chance. Andrew Douglas. Nope. Fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Fastball, ooh, that ran in and drilled him. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Casey Crozier, he'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. 
You know, Dero, sometimes one of your best friends are your own teammates right there. Good hustle from first base to beat that throw the second. And guess what? He bought his battery, made a knock. Yeah, he definitely bought him a knock. You know what else he's going to buy him? He's going to buy him dinner on the road at some point because that's some significant hustle right there. It was a nice play. The internal clock of the defender thought he still had a chance at second. Wasn't meant to be. A nice adjustment right there for him to get on top of that baseball and drive it to the corner. The first pitch he obviously tried to overthrow, got under it, and it sailed on him. The one-two. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. High and deep to right. Good one. Ranging back. On the warning track, he makes the catch. The runner scores from second. Digging in to try it again. Tyler White, he reached on a fielder's choice previously. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. Hit to third. Throw not in time, and he beats it out for his third hit tonight. Riding in once again, Ellis Keenan. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. One ball, no strikes to count. Up around the letters with that one for ball two. Maybe a bit of an overthrow there, guys. May have let that front side open up a little early to try to pump up on a fastball and sailed on. Runners at the corners, two men out. Liner toward right center. And this is going to find the alley as he might have himself his second double of the ball game. White rounds third and is digging for the plate. He'll score easily as they push the lead to five now. Wow, they're hitting on all cylinders as the lead increases to five now. Nice job there to drive the ball into the gap and turn on the Jets for a triple. And great extension as he drives this one high in the air and deep the other way. And this one is gone. A home run. It's a two-run shot to straight away left as this is now a seven-run ball game. Hey, that's one of the toughest parts about standing out there on the bump, giving up a long home run or giving up a bomb at any time as a pitcher. You just have to regroup and get back on that horse. Right over the middle, knee high. Bases are empty here with two men out. And a good job to lay off the fastball. They're close, but it's one and one. To two balls and two strikes now. Grounder down the line at third. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. This one misses and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. What we're seeing here is a really smart at bat. They got to be thinking the man on the mound is getting a little short on gas. So. When you go up there and make him throw a bunch of pitches, you're more likely to get a good pitch to hit or at least force him out of the game. Popped him up. Velez is there for it. And that's the third out. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate in scoring five. On to the bottom of inning number six. The hooks are out in front here, 11 to four. Digging in once again, Mitchell Buckley as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. The relay, not in time, and he's in there with a double. As we look again at that double here, you can see that he was thinking, too, right out of the box. Smashed it down the line, and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. Into the box now. 
Brooks Christian. She'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. And now a ball lifted into the air out towards center field. Douglas on the move. One down. Ready for another shot now. Eric Cordero. First pitch coming. Here it is. Took a wave at one around the shins with no luck. This is the stuff that infuriates a manager. You have to think the game. You got to know he's trying to pitch around you. You cannot swing at that pitch out of the zone. Grounded up the first baseline. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. In now, Manny Moreno, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Here comes the first pitch. A ball and no strikes. Buckley on third with two out. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. One hit, one left. We're through six full. The Hooks lead it 11 to 4. Welcome back to baseball on MLB Network. It's on to the seventh inning now, but before the inning gets started, let's fill you in on what you may have missed. It's our game summary to this point. Digging in the switch hitter, Sergio Valdez. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Owen won the count. The wind up and the 0 1. And he'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate here as that misses. Most good pitchers know that they have to work inside and sometimes even come off the plate to keep hitters from getting comfortable up there. I think that was part of the intent with that last pitch. Inside, ball misses, ball two. Hit pretty well out toward right center field. Goodwin sprinting after it. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. First pitch on its way. And a neck-high fastball that time. The 1-0 home. Hit in the air down the right field line. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Stepping in, Andrew Douglas. A hit in two official trips to the plate to this point in the ballgame. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. Two out, nobody on. Q shot here out towards short. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Digging in and looking for more, Victor Velez. He's looking to go four for four with a base hit right here. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Hey, as an offense, you do your homework, you scout. He hasn't been using that pitch an awful lot. I say you just throw that out. If he's going to flip that occasionally for a strike, then so be it. 0-1, here it comes. Popped him up. In there, a base hit. I'm shocked he got to that pitch right there. In today's game of loading up, leg kicks, toe taps, dropping the hands, trying to create launch angle, that high heater usually gets by. Now time called here as the manager pops out of the first base dugout and a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. Tired a bit as he reached the seventh but he's got a shot at the victory if his bullpen can help him out. Your attention please. Now pitching for Corpus Christi. Number 33. Sam Atkins. 
Wilson Goodwin will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. First pitch of the at bat. Hit hard on the ground is short. Oh, look at this sliding stop. The second for one. But they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. Third baseman, number one. Ready once again, Ross Fires. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hit on the ground out for short. And that's in for a base hit. He's two for four now. Hey, there's a base hit right there. Now they have a couple of runners on with less than two outs, but they're down by so much in this game that hopefully maybe they can get something started here in this inning. Yeah, 100%, Dan. I played the game a long time. I've never seen a big league hitter giving that bat away. You chip away and fight until that 27th out is made. Into the box, Ricky Denson. And he'll quickly send a line drive to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. And they'll quickly get it in here to hold that runner at third base. Hey, guys, I understand it right there. The third base coach has got to hold them up. They're down by a lot of runs right now. No reason to risk getting a guy thrown out at home in this situation. In now, Robert Rodriguez. In the dirt and blocked behind the plate. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Grounded back up the middle. He's got it. Step on the back for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. This one pretty well in the bag. Eighth inning coming up. The hooks are out in front here, 11 to 4. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Casey Crozier. He's two for four in the ballgame. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. The 1 0 home is looked at for ball number two. You know, sometimes it takes a pitch or a few pitches to get going, but those two pitches weren't even close. Falls behind in the count, 2-0. Oh, it's time to start getting locked in. 2-1 and one now. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2-1. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Now this is a leadoff at bat. Great patience. And he's just waiting for that pitch. That's too good to pass up. The 3-2 pitch. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is foul near the seats. The next 3-2. Lifted down the line and left. Fires trying to get there. And this will wind up a foul ball. This is on the ground over to first. Velez fields it cleanly. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Now to the plate, Alfonso De Los Santos earned himself an RBI with a sack fly his last time at the plate. Moreno is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Now Tyler White will bat next. He's homered and doubled in four trips, so he's definitely been a factor. Scooped up on the backhand. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Digging in, Mitchell Buckley, two for three with a double on his line so far. First pitch of the at-bat. Pulled toward right center field. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. You could tell he was thinking fastball all the way here, and that's exactly what he got. He was able to get the bat hit out front and pull it into the gap in the right center. Now they're set up pretty nicely for a good inning after that leadoff double. Stepping in now, Brooks Christian. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. 
On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Crowds him a bit with a fastball there, and it's to 1-1. One one. Well, that two-seam fastball ran a little too much off the plate, but now that sets him up to work with something away and maybe even an off-speed pitch. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And this will hop over the wall, but the run will score. Pretty good swing right there as he drives this ball deep. One hops over the wall, and he could just walk into second base with a ground rule double. Standing in now, Eric Cordero. As he'll offer it one and loop it out toward center field. That's in there, base hit. And they'll put the brakes on at third. Runners at the corners with nobody out. Center fielder, Manny Moreno. Now at the plate, Manny Moreno. And they're runners at the corners now. He's set and the pitch. High in the air out to center field. Douglas has a play. Makes the play one away. The relay throw, and they get the double play at third. And now a triple play, as he couldn't get back to the bag, and the inning is over. So one run here on three hits, no errors, and no one left on base. We've played eight full. The Hooks lead it 11 to 5. Now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Ellis Keenan. He'll try and lead things off here in inning number nine. No balls and a strike to count. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. And here's the big left-handed bat of A.J. Reed. Three for four so far, and seeing it well in this ball game. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball on. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile, but hey, listen, a home run is a home run. <laughs> Standing in, Edgar Gonzalez. He's one for four for the game. Shot weakly to the left. Fires, ranges to his left. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So they go down without a whimper here. Part of the order, three, four, and five will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. The hooks are out in front here, 11 to five. Striding in to start the ninth, Victor Velez, the and the they'll need him to get something Perfect. going here. Victor Velez. Left side, Hoffman loves it, and that's out number one. Now batting. Stepping up now, Wilson Goodwin. First offering on its way. And the first pitch is chopped foul. Looks played at strike one. The wind up and the 0-1. Change up gets him out in front for strike two. Wow, what makes it so tough to be a hitter is to be able to hit and change his speeds, right? You're geared up for the fastball, and all of a sudden, he pulls the string and throws you the straight change, the dreaded equalizer. One ball and two strikes to count. Bases are empty, one man out. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire. Ball two. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Ooh, he saws him off with that one. On to first, and they're an out away. Two gone here in the ninth. The batter, third baseman. Ross now at the plate, Ross Byers. First pitch of the at bat. Now a swing, and he pops him up. And this should do it. Valdez is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over. Wow, a nine-out save. That's three full innings. You don't see that very often these days. It's awfully nice to have a guy in the back end of your bullpen that can pitch that kind of work. 11-5, to five, the final tally in this one. Corpus Christi put on a real offensive show with 11 runs on the board. 
Willie Perez is credited with the win. Geraldo Rincon takes the loss after an effort he'd like to forget for the rest of his life. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa and the lefty Dan Plezak and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. Well, this is Midland Rockhounds Baseball coming at you live with Minor League Baseball, the show 18. Well, tonight, the Midland Rockhounds have lost this game 11 to 5, the final. The Midland Rockhounds tried to climb its way back in, but had no luck of doing it. Well, tomorrow morning we'll be live again for a first out of a four-game series. Don't know who will play, but might as well just go ahead and look to keep you guys posted on what game, what games we have coming up. So stay tuned. We'll be right back with Midland Rockhounds Baseball, the voice of West Texas. Midland Rockhounds Baseball will return in just a moment. We now take you to the field for hits, runs, and errors. Well, after a long evening of baseball, the Corpus Christi Hooks win tonight's ball game. And most likely it is a embarrassing night for the Rockhounds. Well, the Midland Rockhounds are going off to Tulsa as they face off the Tulsa Drillers. Then after that, have a four game series with the Springfield Cardinals and then after that the Rockhounds will return home as they face Tulsa and Springfield at home and most likely guys that is the next eight to ten games that are here or nine games that are here but are six seven away game series for Springfield and Tulsa. Well, this will just about do it for Rockhounds Baseball of the Night. We hope you all enjoyed our final score, Corpus Christi 11 and the Rockhounds 5. Corpus Christi, this bud's for y'all. So, we hope everybody has a good night and we will see y'all tomorrow in the beautiful city of Tulsa, Oklahoma. So long, everybody.